the Midwest Museum of American Art staff, patrons, are very excited and happy to have Adam Grant's exhibition here. For what his artwork stands for, the person he was, he became, and how one man triumphed over odds that were just almost insurmountable. The Adam Grant exhibit is an exhibition studying the human form, and I saw his work about 10 years ago and was very impressed with how he handled the figure and, uh, and his painterly style. While he did these paintings 20, 30 years ago, they're still very timely, and I also was struck by this, his story. This is the 20th anniversary of his death, and it's also the 70th anniversary of his being interred at Auschwitz. To have Adam's work recognized in entirety, from the very beginning when he began to paint in Poland, in the concentration camps, after the concentration camp, and when he came to the United States. Adam became interested in circus because he loved the human form, the body. And when he saw the circus, he saw the body at its peak development. Art is what makes history remembered. Look at all the great museums around the world. And what will you see when you see their art? Peggy Grant, his wife, is a, a good artist in her own right. I've seen her work. She is fabulous. But she has subjugated herself to seeing that Adam Grant's work is brought to the forefront. Of the 49 works in the show, that the pale horse resonates what he went through with the Holocaust because you see the gauntness of the horse, you see the bombed out buildings, you see a piece of driftwood that could be a skull. It's very, the whole painting is very symbolic and it touches my heart very deeply. Uh, we're very happy to have this exhibition at the Midwest Museum of American Art. We're getting ready this month to celebrate our 33rd anniversary, May the 4th. And uh, we feel that we have uh, so much to offer the surrounding area, Northern Indiana and Southern Michigan. And uh, we hope everyone will come and see this exhibition.